Welcome back Scale Modelers to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host Steve. Up next is the Aston Martin Build Your Own DB5 from Eagle Moss. This is issue 6 and Happy New Year everybody. Here are the four packs included with issue six. We will look at each of these packs individually. We'll assemble each, but first we'll look at the magazine. Here's the magazine for Bill the Aston Martin DB5, James Bond's car. This is issue six. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this fantastic build. I put a link below in the comments. Very informative magazine taking us through each of the James Bond movies that have been out there. First it takes us through a listing of all the parts that we will get with this issue and uh, we get the right caliper inner wheel rim so we'll be installing the brake disc caliper and wheel in this assembly takes us through uh, step by step through parts 19 next we go to part 20 parts 21 And lastly, parts 22. After that, we get into the meat of the magazine. Very good article here on actor George Lansby, who was offered a role in the James Bond movie series, replacing Sean Connery. You can read more about this. Then we have a wonderful article on Diana Rigg. And this is what I like about this magazine, all the featured profiles of the women of Bond. Then we got a fantastic article on uh, Telly Savalas. An article here about the mountaintop assault, the filming of it. Great photographs here. Great article too. Then they get into the Diamonds Are Forever. Which was released in December 1971. And that's quite a it's a six pager with that one, so there's lots of information found with that. And then lastly, an article about Tiffany Case. I'll be right back. We will look at the parts that came with this issue a little closer, and then we'll assemble them. Here's pack 19. I'll open this up, and we'll get a closer look at the parts contained within. We have bags within bags. They gave us some very nice uh, Ziploc bags to protect the parts from one another. Here we have the right caliper on your left and the inner wheel rim. Inner wheel rim is plastic and already has the installment nut installed on it. And here's the brake caliper, and this is metal. A 
I'll be back with parts pack 20. Here's parts pack 20. We'll open this up and we'll get a closer look at what's inside. This is the outer wheel rim. This is also plastic. Here's parts pack 21. And here we get a little more items, some screws and a metal rim. And it looks like a big washer. I'll open this up and we'll get a closer look at all the parts contained within. And in this pack we have the right wheel rim ring. And that is metal. We get two Z-type screws. These are the longer ones. And we get we get five C-type screws. And we get the washer. And here's pack 22. This is the last pack contained in issue 6. We'll open this up and we'll get a closer look at the parts. Contained within is the right spinner and the right front brake disc. The brake disc itself is plastic and spinner chrome plated plastic also. Here are the C type screws that we will use to assemble the first step. The first step that we'll accomplish is we will insert the inner spokes on the outer rim now, just as before, this only goes in one way, so you want to carefully align your tabs up here, top and bottom, and then your holes. So if you see here closely, turn it around, it doesn't go that way, and we do the other way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We have four screws we need to put in. These are the C-type screws. I'll get all four of these in and then I'll be right back. Last screw in. The next thing that we do is we insert the outer spoke rim onto this. It just snaps in place and you want to line up the four tabs onto this until it snaps in nicely. And there we go. Perfect. Next we insert the brake disc into the caliper. And it goes in one way here. We have to have that go into the slot like that. And then it goes down to the hole. After that, we take our Z-type screw put the washer on it and we insert that through the disc just like that then we can grab our wheel and you can see we got a nut on this side we'll feed our Z screw into the wheel and then we'll tighten it down not too tight because we still want it to be able to rotate like that. And you can see the screw is threaded in a little bit right there. After that they want us to install the, the knockoff or the spinner. I'm going to hold off on that because we need to put this on the wheel first and I don't want to break it since it's plastic. So here's our tire. 
and the way we insert it is we want to do it from this side first and not the other because this all kind of gets in the way. So it takes a little brute force to muscle it in. Make sure the rim is out totally on that side and on this side. There's the, the rim on the tire. Everything spins. Looks really nice. And lastly, we put the spinner on it. And there it is with the spinner. And there you have it. That's all we do for issue 6 of the Aston Martin DB5. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for issue 7, which will be coming up very soon. I enjoyed this so far. We have two more of these wheels we've got to build. So keep that in mind. With that, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Eagle Moss Aston Martin DB5. I put a link below in the description. With that, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Happy modeling, everybody. Take care.